Hey guys, welcome to this video. We're going to talk about student loans today in this video. And here's a question that I received recently. I have a student loan that is going into default. Can I lose my Alabama house over this or will my homestead exemption protect me? So let's first of all make sure we know what homestead exemption means. That's basically, hey, this is the house I live in. So it lowers your taxes. And in Alabama, at the time I'm recording this video, it's about $15,000, the quote, exemption. Now, if you're married, that'd be a total of 30. Compare this to places, uh, I think Florida has maybe uh, either ridiculously high or maybe unlimited homestead exemption. We keep it pretty small here in Alabama. But this person knew that their home uh, yeah, they were claiming homestead exemption, so they had been told, and that's why they asked the question, since I'm claiming homestead exemption, my house is totally safe, right? Well, the answer is no, but we have to back up even further and say, well, what type of student loan do you have? Two basic types, there's federal and private. Either one of those can sue you, but it's very, very rare, at least that I see, a federal student loan file suit. And part of the reason is when you file a lawsuit, you're doing that so that you can get a judgment, so that you can garnish wages and things of that nature. Well, with a federal student loan, they can go through the administrative wage garnishment process and basically send you a letter, say, hey, we're going to have a hearing on this if you want one. Most people ignore it. And so basically, within the Department of Education, they say, okay, well, let's decide if we win or the consumer wins. Shockingly, the Department of Education almost always wins. Well, once they get that sort of administrative order, it, it really is the same thing as a judgment in the terms of <clears throat> garnishing your wages. And they can also intercept your tax refund. And there's some other things they can do. But point is, why go through a lawsuit if you can almost just snap your fingers and you can start garnishing somebody's wages, intercepting their tax refund. Now, a private student loan cannot do that. They have to sue you to get a judgment. So they have to sue you, serve you, beat you at the in the case, get a judgment, and then they can garnish your wages. Then they can garnish your bank account. But to answer this question, they also put a lien on your house. So if you go to sell your house, refinance your house, you got to pay off that lien or you can't do it. But they can also do a sheriff sale, which is kind of like a foreclosure where your house will be sold and then the proceeds will go to pay off any lien. So if you have a mortgage on it, but also including the judgment lien. And so it's not commonly used in Alabama, but it's used more than it ever was before. So to answer the question, yes, you could lose your house. To a private student loan judgment or even a federal judgment federal student loan judgment but here's the good news if it's a federal student loan there's all sorts of options available uh, you can primarily look at rehabilitation in essence you make about nine monthly payments at a reasonable affordable rate and you get back on track so if you have a federal student loan definitely ask whoever you're dealing with Department of Education, a debt collector, whoever it is, say, what are my options? Can I rehabilitate this loan? Is there some other option I have? Am I entitled to some type of forgiveness? If it's a private student loan, they really don't have to do any of that. It doesn't hurt to ask, but you could think of a private student loan. It's kind of like a big credit card, except it's very hard to file bankruptcy against. So that's kind of a long-winded answer to get to this point. First, figure out what type of loan do you have? If it's federal, see what your options are. If it's private, then you want to look at, can they sue me? Is statute of limitation expired? Who is the one that might sue me? Do they even own the debt or has it been passed around half a dozen times? So there definitely are some options. And if you're in Alabama, feel free to give us a call, 205-879-2447 or alabamaconsumer.com. And if you have general questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And always feel welcome to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.